Right, I've left velvet bottom, which is right down the bottom there. There's, um, I zoom in, there's velvet bottom. There's Charterhouse little chapel there. You can just see the, it's a little tower there, a little turret on the top there. And then there's the um, adventure centre called Charterhouse all around there. And I just walked up through Velvet Bottom from Black Rock all the way along there. And that's um, over towards uh, Longwood, which is right over there. I think or that could be Longwood. I sometimes get muddled when I'm up here. <laughs> Longwood's either over there or it's down there. I think it's further over. Anyway, I can do two things when I get up the top here by the Wyler station. I can either decide to go straight across the top, past the trig point, then down to, past Tynan's farm and across that way. Or I can go back down through Longwood. I've only got one medium-sized bottle of water now. I was tempted to ask somebody back there, but if they'd been on their own, I might have asked, but I didn't like to. There was too many people, so I, I just filled my other bottle up, but it should be all right. I topped up early, so I'm not gasping yet, and I, once I get back to Cheddar, I can buy a bottle of water somewhere. If anything's open, that is. It's a summer, you know. And unlike, say, St Ives, Cornwall, they stay open to nine or ten at night, the shops. And Cheddar, being a tourist attraction, they still shut at five. It's ridiculous. They pack everything up. I tell you, it's nice or not, I've had to put... I'll just turn around a minute. I've had to put that on. I might edit this out. <laughs> I've had to put my top on over my head because I didn't bring my straw hat. <sighs> I'm trying to reduce weight. <sighs> One thing I find though, when I'm walking, right, I need water and I need a little bit of a little snack, but I don't get famished. <sighs> I don't get famished. I will later though. No, I think the hot weather, you don't really want to eat a lot. Anyway, it'll encourage me to burn a bit off. I mean, in two years I have lost nearly a stone. That's without what I call dieting. I haven't really dieted. It's pure exercise. Walking. I mean, I could do a cutting out the cake, I know. I cut out fags and I only have an occasional drink. Like I've had a couple of lagers and a couple of glasses of wine this World Cup, for example, when England have won. Just to join in. But, uh... I do like my cake in my... I've got a slice of cake in my bag. But I don't fancy it, actually. It's a nice big chunk of fruit cake. Manor House. Looks really nice. But I'd like it with a cup of tea, really. The thing is, when I go on these walks, I'm out in the middle of nowhere, really. You don't find... Up here. Right up here. You don't find a tea shop. You don't find even find an ice cream van. Nothing. There was a one house back there where I could have topped up my other bottle. But I think there's enough just to get me back to Cheddar. So a while ago I was looking up at the wireless masts when I was right down over there. Cheddar Gorge is right over there at the end of my finger. And I've, I've walked along the top there, all in the fields right over there I was, 
working my way round. I keep getting bitten by horseflies. I expect I'll have a lot of bites when I get home later. When they land on you, you don't always feed them right away. And some of them, they get on your back, they bite through your t-shirt. I've got quite a thick t-shirt on, deliberately, just to help stop them getting to me so easily. It's quite warm with it on. It's very exposed here to the sun and heat, which these sort of flowers love. Whatever these are, I've taken lots of pictures of of these earlier and elsewhere. Yeah, they could be the flowers that come off that sticking stuff, that sticky plant that you throw on on people. It's a lovely day. I can see Brent Knoll in the distance. We're walking up now to the mast. Looks like they've had... They look a bit sturdier than they used to. I think they've had some... repair work done. Somebody come in. Let's let him bast. Of course, um, if I wanted to do Longwood, I might have to walk across a field of cows, which I probably won't do. Uh, no, it's been a good walk. It's afternoon now. It must be about two o'clock. I'm going to eat me um, hoops in a minute. Got them in my pocket. But I try not to eat. I've delayed eating in a way because it makes you thirsty. Two minutes to two o'clock. That means we've got four hours to get back for the bus. Four hours. Let's just stop here a minute. Let's just stop here just to have a panoramic view around all the beauty around me. I think of all the people I've lost in my life when I'm up places like this. My mum, my dad, my sister Jude now, Zara's dad Pete, David Bowie. There's lots and lots of people. My friend Helen. Um, there's all sorts of people in my life that have gone now. And when I'm in these sort of places, when I'm in these sort of places, I can feel them. I mean, I don't know if Jude ever came up here. I doubt if David Bowie did, but he would have been in similar beautiful places. I don't think any of the others would have walked here. Helen wouldn't have done. Um, my dad and mum wouldn't have. Jude might have. She might have been the only one. Because she'd had done Velvet Bottom. Now that's the farmer there. I wonder if there are cows. When I'm just trying to get a horse fly off me. He looked a grumpy farmer, by the way. He looked very, very grumpy. Some are wave and they're quite friendly. He didn't. He gave me the death rattle look. So here we go then. Here's the masts. Don't ask me what area they cover, but um, it's going to be mend up in it one way or another. <sighs> and uh, I'll be following a little track. And the farmer's gone down through the, the gate there. I, so I don't know if there's any cows. I can see his 
Land Rover going all over the field over there now. See? Oh, somebody built a big moss as well. Yeah, there are other walks you can do. But this is very pretty along here. Look at all the purple. Very pretty, isn't it? Just going to turn off for a minute.